Hey, 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 welcome to data engineering. Today we are going to discuss about hive buckets. So bucket is one of the very important concept in hive. So in with respect to hive, there is two concepts are so important. One is partition and one is bucket. Okay. So this video is going to be kind of an uh, quite uh, lengthier video. I recommend you to watch this video completely. So I'm going to explain in and out about buckets. So when it comes to hive, so people who has already some knowledge on uh, hive, right? So they used to ask me a question. So we have seen a table with partition. We have seen a tab table with partition and bucket also, but what is the use of just having buckets and do we have uh, these kind of only bucketed tables in real time? Yes, we do have only bucketed tables in real time. I will explain you everything here. So I have already explained about partition in my previous video. If you want to get the complete big data course videos, I have given the link in the description box of this video. The playlist name is big data course. You will be seeing a playlist link in the description box. If you click that, you can get complete big data videos it includes Hive, Spark, HDFS, MapReduce and so many other stuff. And I will be keep on adding videos to that playlist. Fine. So if you see uh, this part, partition with the bucket, I will be explaining this in my next video. So today we are going to see just buckets and what is the use of it? What is the internals of bucket? So when, when we say bucket, people come with two, people used to come with two points. One is bucket is used for data sampling and then bucket is with respect to map side join. Bucket is really good with respect to map side join. The performance will be really good. These two points, we'll, we'll cover these two points later. So what exactly bucket underlaying, what it do? Bucket used to distribute the data. Okay, so partition is also doing the same. Bucket is also doing the same, but they have small difference. I'll be explaining everything in this video. So just we jump into some of the practicals now. I will just show you the DDLs first. So to enable the bucket, right, you have to uh, set all these properties. By default, your Hive shell will not allow you to create the bucket tables. You have to enforce the bucket table as true. So that is what we are doing, enforcing bucket equal to true. And there's two more partition you can see. So we have to enable the dynamic partition as well. Okay, so now uh, even in the partition video, I have told this whenever you create a partition table or a bucket table, you cannot use load data command to load a file. So if you load it via with load command to a partition or a bucket table, the data will not be get partitioned or the table will not be get bucketed. The data, okay, the data will not be get partitioned. The data will not be get bucketed. So if you use load data in path command means. So instead you have to use insert into or insert overwrite command to the partition and bucket table and then only your data will be get partitioned and your data will be get bucketed in bucket table. Okay. So if you are writing via Spark or MapReduce then no problem. So you are you are writing a Spark program which will write the data directly to the target table which is bucketed. It's fine. Completely fine. So you have to run a MapReduce job while loading the data. That is what we need. So load command will not do that. So you have to use insert or insert overwrite or through program you can write Spark or MapReduce. It's, it's completely fine. So here what I'm going to do is, so since it is not going to allow us to do a bulk load, so first I'm going to create a normal table without bucket, no partition, no bucket, just a normal table. And then I'm going to use load data local in path to load my file to this normal table. And then you can see I'm creating a bucket table here, the second create statement. So here I'm creating a bucket table. Then you can see there is an insert command, insert into table, the bucket table name, select star from the normal table. So the, what happens here? So from the normal table, I'm doing an insert into to my bucket table. So in this way, MapReduce will run so that your table will be get bucketed. Your data will be get bucketed. So now I will show my input data as well, which has three columns, serial number, name and amount. That's it. Okay. So now if you closely uh, see the syntax of bucket table, so create table, table name, and then we have columns and then I have a comment. Okay. So this is optional having adding and comment to the table. So whenever people use a command called show create table, table name. So this will give you the complete create table DDL, which will have the common statement as well so that people will come to know, okay, this table is for this. So it, it, it is that way only. So it's just optional. And the actual syntax is clustered by. Clustered by is what the bucket syntax is. So where we used to give in the partition table as partitioned by, right? So some, something like that in bucket, we have clustered by. And based on which column you have to do this bucketing. 
So you have to give that column in partition. We used to give the partition column. Similarly, here we have to give the bucket column and how many buckets you need. So in partition, we'll not do this. We'll not mention this many partition is required. So I will take care of doing that. But here you have to mention how many buckets you want. If you see here, I have mentioned as three buckets here. If you see three buckets and then store dust text file. Now you can ask me a question. How you decided the number three? It's something a random. No, it's not at all random. There is a calculation for deciding the bucket count. So in the same playlist, if you see, there will be a video called how to decide bucket counts in Hive. I recommend you to watch that video so that you will be having the complete knowledge of buckets and Hive. These two videos, the video watch you, the currently you are watching, plus the how to decide the bucket count. If you see these two videos, then you are in and out with respect to bucket concept. Fine. So now what I have, what I am going to do is I'm, I have already created a table, bucket table, and then I have did a insert also. Now the table has the data, but here I want to tell you something. So bucket internally it will decide which data has to go to which particular bucket. But in partition, you only will decide which record has to go to which partition. So that is the only difference between bucket and partition. So whereas in bucket, hive itself, the bucket itself will decide where to land your record in which bucket. But in partition, you used to decide in which partition the record has to go. That is the difference between hive and bucket. Let me give you an uh, kind of an explanation. So imagine, so you have three, imagine we are working with partition tables and you have three partitions. So based on country column, so country, country, okay. India, there is one partition, US, there is one partition and UK, there is one partition. So you have three partition. Now you are doing an insert, insert one record you are inserting in which the country is US. Now tell me this particular insert with US record country as us goes to which partition obviously to the second partition because this is us and this is where like in partition we are deciding the records has to go to which partition but in buckets it's not like that imagine so this is not partition now imagine this is bucket now you are sending a record us record but there is a chance this us record can go to india bucket also or the us record may go to uk bucket also this is what happens in bucket so we cannot tell this particular record please go to first bucket second bucket that you can't say but you can say that in the partition now you can ask me then how come bucket is advantage we can go for partition itself right okay park that question for now i will give the answer for that question as well now so this question there is one question let's hold that question for now now let's understand what is the internal mechanism of bucket how bucket is deciding which record has to go to which bucket so bucket internally uses an algorithm called hash partition which is very important for you to have this concept in your mind because in interview people used to ask this for to you okay so hash partition is the algorithm which internally bucket used to decide which record has to go to which bucket so this algorithm has a formula hash of the column hash of the bucketed column okay so hash of the bucket column mod of number of buckets okay now we can take our example so we have given amount column as a bucketed column right so we have some values like this uh, 15 some amounts we have some amount like this and mod of what is the number of buckets we had three so that means so hash of bucket column now what bucket will do the hash what hash partition will do it will take this number three and it will populate a hash value for this three imagine you are you will be getting some value like uh, 30 okay so we don't know what hash value so i'm generating it's my own i'm giving an example with my own hash value so now this 30 divided by 3 and what will be the remainder obviously zero because mod function means it, it it goes to remainder so we don't want to worry about the quotient so it's all about the remainder so what this remainder value denotes so this denotes this denotes the position position of the bucket and that means so now we created a table with three buckets right in hdfs it will be like this 0000, 000 underscore 0 0000 001 underscore 0 0000 2 underscore 0 you will be seeing three buckets in your hdfs as a folders as a directories now what this zero is uh, denoting right the position so starts with 0 1 2 this is the position so we have three buckets starts with zero so this zero is denoting the first bucket so which record for, for which record we got the remainder as 0 for this record 3 so 
we have two more columns serial number and then name so serial number is one name something okay imagine my name gautam and then three so this particular record has to go to first bucket only because the amount column of the first record generated 30 as a hash value and this 30 has been divided by 3 and the remainder we got 0. 0 denotes the position of the bucket so the complete record will go to first bucket. So this is what internally hash partition is doing, the bucket is doing. So here if you want to override this then you have to write a custom partition which means you have to go for partition, no other go. Partition is the place where you will decide but bucket is something that bucket itself will decide. Now we understood the internals of bucket and why bucket behaves like this. This is what important to understand. Okay, well, we'll stop here. So we understood. Now we come back to the previous question. So why we have to use bucket when, when the data is not going for the respective partition? We can go with partition itself, right? In which we'll say go to this partition. This record has to go to India. Record has to go to India. US record has to go to US. So in bucket means India record is going to US bucket. Right, so that is what your question is. Why we have to use bucket then? Okay, let me come to that point. I will explain you that point. So if you see here, we have, uh, let's, let's go for partition. Let's take partition and I will give you some sample records. So you have serial number, name and then country. So one, two, three, four, name A, B, C, D and then we have India, US, India and then US. Now, here you can consider this country as a partition column and why not serial number and name? Why can't you choose these two? Because in serial number, there is no duplicate. It's unique value. And even in the name, it's all unique value. So we have to group based on something, right? Then only we the, the, the read, the need of partition enter into picture. So here, if I go with country, then these two record goes to one partition and these two record goes to one partition. So we have two. Right, so we have two partitions. So we are doing this partition based on the country. Now imagine some bucket cases. Okay, so we have serial number, account number, phone number. Serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, account number 1001, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, phone number 9876, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then like 0, 0, 1, 4. Now, based on which column we can do partition, now tell me. So, serial number is unique. Account numbers are also unique. Phone numbers are also unique. So, in this case, what happens? So, if you go for the partition case, right, in partition, so in the first partition, you will be having India records and in second partition, you will have US records. Now, I am writing in query, select star from table where country equal to India. So, in this case, this query directly goes to only this partition, it will query the data. If there is no partition, what this query will do? It will do a full scan. It will read record by record. Now, imagine if there is no place for us to do a partition, you see here, all these three columns, the values are unique and there is no place for us to do the partition, then what happens? Full scan will happen, right? So you can ask me, we do have such tables in real time? Of course you will have. You will have some tables in which you can't do partitions, okay? So when you write some query, for example, I want to do a select star from where account number equal to 1004, it used to scan full table. No, no, we can't achieve partition here and we should not have full scan also. Then what we can do? We can go for buckets. Now what buckets will do? Now I'm giving this phone number as a bucket column. Then it will take the first value. It will do a hash and then it will divide by number of buckets you are giving three. So here the partition is based on the value itself. But here the partition is not based on the value of the column. The bucket is based on the hash value of value of the column. That is very important. So here directly partition is considering the value directly. So here it's not like that. It is taking the value of the phone number of first record and then it is doing the hash value and then only it is deciding the bucket. So here, even though the first number and the last phone number are different, imagine they give same remainder as zero. Yeah, chances can happen, right? So here we get a hash value as 30 and here we get hash value as nine. Now 30 divided by three and nine divided by three, obviously what is the remainder? Zero, zero. So that means even though their phone number are different, they can end up with coming to a single partition, not partition, single bucket, right? So now you, you can ask me, now in this case, how you are avoiding the full scan? Okay, let me tell you that. Now you have two buckets. In the first bucket you have 9876 and then 0014 and then in the next bucket you have 1234 and imagine you have 5678, the remaining two records. Now when I write this query, 
and I'm giving the phone number as 00174 when, when I write this query it directly goes to first bucket only it will not go to second bucket because second bucket doesn't have that value but you can ask me in the first bucket we, I have one more value also right that is fine so what this query will do it will go here it will read the first record okay this is not and then it will read second so here is here also it is reading unwanted records but it is avoiding we are trying to avoid the full scan we are not completely searching in all the buckets right we are not doing that some buckets we are eliminating and that is a good thing right so we don't have any solution so you can't do partition and you have to avoid full scan in that case you can go for buckets so many of you are aware of partition with bucket use case but only bucket use case no one aware means as means in my experience i'm saying so people whoever comes to me or even if, if i am an interviewer when i ask them what is the need of bucket and you have any bucket only table people will say no we don't have bucket only table we have partition and bucket no we do have some tables i have worked in so many use cases where tables only with buckets because we don't have options to partition so when i ask the question to the people if i give this table as an example when i when i ask them to give when when i used to give this table as an example and i will ask them can we do partition here they will say no because they are unique values and what is the solution they will say we can go with full scan only but they, no one will say bucket is the solution for this so bucket is a solution when the table is not possible to create a partition and you have to avoid full scan of course you can go for buckets partition is with bucket is different okay it's a different thing because first you are doing a partition and then only you are doing a bucket so that is different that is easy to explain but this is what not easy to explain okay fine so uh, we we have been discussing uh, the the need of bucket only we have done in the beginning of the video i have said two things right one is like a map side join because you perform join on bucket a table is called map side join the performance will be really good and second i said data sampling right i will explain you this later within two to three minutes i will explain so uh, let me just go through uh, means let me just give a walk through on these ddls for you okay so if you see here so i have created a uh, bucket table and then i have do I, I have done a insert into as well so just let me try to query this bucket table for you i will show you this okay so if you see here i have that 10 records in this bucket table and you will not see anything here any changes here but i will show you the location in which this table gets stored in hdfs show create table and then the table name enter so if you see here this is the this is the location let me go to this location in uh, hdfs okay so you can see three buckets that got created and you can even you can even uh, copy this path and you can do a cat command hdfs cat and you can see which records so i showed you 10 records right so which part of record goes to first bucket which part of record goes to second bucket you can able to see that as well because i have these 10 records so these 10 records has been splitted into three buckets and maybe some bucket could have empty also because if the remainder was not coming for the prospective hash value then it will never go to that bucket right so some ex empty buckets will also be there okay fine so now one more last thing i want to tell you is sampling okay i i i i, I'm, I was it to say that right so if you see here sampling is all about you want to perform a test run for a particular amount of data but not for the entire table so you want you are training a model or you are training a data set for a model for a data science or some reports you you want to do a thing so first we are do a sample on it and then we do a full full we apply the same logic for the full records so in that case there is two types of sampling in hive one is block sampling and one is bucketed sampling so bucket tables how to do a sample is imagine so if you see the query select average of amount from the bucketed table and then you have to use this keyword table sample and here we are mentioning bucket one out of three i am considering the first bucket data only out of three bucket i am not consider i am not going to run this average command for all the three buckets i am going to run only for one bucket and and i am picking that based on random okay so that is based on random or you can give a column name also so remove that random function and just give amount that is also fine so this will just apply the average function only for first bucket records not for the complete once you see that is good and you can apply it for uh, 
for all the records so that is what sampling is all about so you can even test this query in your machine so thanks for watching data engineering channel and if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and follow this to your friends and colleagues and please do share this in your linkedin and if you want to get more videos for complete big data course as i told you the playlist link called big data course uh, it's there in the description box where you can find complete videos and i will be keep on adding to that playlist thanks for watching